We're turning now to breaking news. The city of Winter Park has released a body camera videos from the two police officers involved in the response that ended with the fatal shooting of a wedding guest. It reveals the guest knocked both officers to the ground and left one of them unconscious. West News Amanda Dukes has been following this story from the very beginning and has more on this new information. Amanda. Well, Stuart, from the beginning, the family of Daniel Knight has claimed he was not violent the night of the wedding and that police never should have shot him. The body camera videos do show Knight knocking both officers down and then continuing to strike one of them in the head when that officer is on the ground. I have a very erased, um, drunk staff. He's trying to beat people up. He's yelling. Two Winter Park police officers responded to the Winter Park Events Center after a 911 call reported 39-year-old Daniel Knight was battering guests at his niece's wedding. As officers approached, police say Knight's sisters appeared to be trying to calm him. I don't give a okay, he's, he's okay. He's our, he's our brother. He's our brother. Man, he's that our ain't got nothing to do with me. It's, it's no, his no, no, first no, wedding. Back back officers at first try to get Knight to step away and talk with them. They next tell him to separate from his sister and put his hands behind his back. But Knight refuses and the situation escalates. Knight then punches Officer One in the head, knocking him unconscious. What's up, man? What's up? Talk to me. Okay, hey, hey, talk to me. <laughs> Officer One falls to the ground. Officer Two deploys his taser at Knight, but it has no effect. And Knight then punches Officer Two in the head, knocking him to the ground. It's all captured in this video clip, which will end with Officer Two, who landed face down, rolling over and firing seven rounds of gunfire at Knight, striking and killing him. Back! Put your hands on your back now! Put your hands on That video is difficult to watch. Winter Park police say FDLE asked them to wait to release the body camera video until after the approximately 100 witnesses could be interviewed. They say the two officers involved have a combined 47 years of experience. One is back on full duty and the officer who shot Knight remains on administrative duty. I've reached out to Morgan and Morgan, which is representing Knight's family in regards to these videos and I am awaiting their response. Amanda Dukes reporting. Stuart.